first thing we're going to do is open our STL file. The Insight software allows us to change the orientation of the part depending on how we want to build it. <clears throat> when I'm in a hurry, I can just use this green flag option and it will slice the STL file, generate a support structure, and then generate a toolpath. It's now going through this checklist where it's slicing, generating supports, generating toolpaths, and then saving the file. It's now finished. Here's our part. We're ready to send it to the machine and build it. Here we have the control center application open. This allows us to open various files that we've processed and pack them all to the same machine to build at the same time. I'm going to insert one of the files we just processed. Here it is. Now I'm going to insert another file, the other half of this part. I can move them around to the machine. I can make copies of them if I wish. And once I'm all set, I can download them to the machine and we'll build from there.